Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hey, hi, hello, my name is Lauren. I am the co-owner of Cotswold & Co with my mom, Michelle, and today we are doing a studio vlog. So let me show you guys what we're up to today. Since it is Tuesday, you guys know, or maybe you don't know because this is actually the first studio vlog. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I go to my mom's where we have our candle kind of studio where we make our candles and our wax melts, things like that. I have my own studio and she also has hers. We can both make candles in ours. She has more of the kind of like difficult stuff for making like jars candles and more of our fancy wax melts I would say she has all of our like molds and things there I have some stuff going on here that I thought I would show you guys this is the disaster of a mess going on today so I'm kind of prepping to take some stuff over to her house so this is all going over to her house we just got in these new hot pink wax melt tins I'm so excited about them they're literally so cute y'all they're like hot pink so we ended up getting these new hot pink tins to put our wax melts in so any of the wax Wax melts that you order from our shop as long as they're not um bigger than this tin or the wax melt bars obviously those don't go in here but any of our smaller wax melts are going to come in these really cute hot pink tins so i need to take those over there this is also a giant bag of wax <laughs> that i need to take i've got my version of it right here so that i can keep that here for me okay and then i've got my little pile going here of stuff i need to take we've got stuff for shipping labels we've got thank you cards this is a return i need to make at michael's some orders that need to go out this is not not order this is actually a return this is an order this is one of our first orders yay and then i have some new scents that need to go over there and then a candle that i need to take to her this one's for my brother so we're gonna make it look nice and stuff like that and then send it out to him and then i've got these two little wavy candle holder sticks um they're currently drying this is the front not the back so they're currently drying with their sealer so they have to have sealer on them so that when you guys burn your candles on them the wax doesn't like melt into the concrete because that does happen. These will be going out today though, so I need to bring the stuff to kind of package those, I think. Um, I'm just waiting on the sealer to kind of dry on the inside of the little candle holder part. That's kind of my pile of stuff that I have gathered so far to take over to her place. Right now I'm just kind of watching another studio vlog, so it kind of inspired me. I just got these pegboards put in from Amazon. I think they look so good. I'm really excited about it. Just to kind of get stuff up and off of the table, that was the goal kind of with this whole set up here so i've got my like wax melt or over here stir sticks my little pot thermometer these are little silicone jars for when i do colored items i've got rubber bands for mold this is the wicks i like to use and then just like this has color ink in it and some scissors <laughs> and just like random stuff and then i got these little cute little crates in oh my gosh i'm so obsessed with these got these in from amazon as well check them out they're so cute they end up looking like this over here they're the medium sized little pink crates and these are all of our like items in our shop or testers or things like that this is like stuff that i make content with i shoot photography for all of that is there and then i've got all these cement molds things have been a little hectic over here on my side and i've got all these different boxes and things that I've got to fix. We did manage to kind of get this little setup looking a little nicer on this side of my office. We've got this giant ball shelving here, which I got these little pink things for, and they're just a bit big, I would say, for this, but they're good at kind of hiding some of the stuff. I think I just need a, something a bit bigger to kind of go along this wall, or potentially just more of these shelves. I'm not a total fan of these. They're getting the job done. That was basically a really tiny office tour too in that, but we'll give you guys a much more detailed detailed studio tour of both my space and my mom's space. Mine is, I would say, more of where I do like the aesthetic content. So it is set up for filming for like all of our social media marketing stuff. Whereas mom's is really set up for us to create things. It's still set up pretty aesthetically. We're gonna be doing some more work over there where we like paint the walls and stuff. It's pretty much set up so that we can be really productive and get a lot of things made and get stuff done. That's what's going on over there. I need to, I think, create a to-do list of what we want want to get done today so i'm thinking that let's see if i can say you guys right here oh sweet that looks good okay basically every time before i go over to my mom mom's house i kind of like to come up with a to-do list of kind of our goals or like what we're going to be working on that day so that we are being productive with our time and getting stuff done so for myself i need to run some errands before i go over to my mom's so i'm probably going to leave a little earlier today tuesdays are only half days when i go over there thursdays are full days i know that i need to run some packages by usps i know i need to make a michael's return 
those are gonna be errands that I run on the way to my mom's and then literally this is what I do I take this on my iPad and as you can see it goes back up to the other day but pretty much just day by day I will come up with the list of tasks that need to be completed so for today I know I need to make the post office run I know that I want to finish packaging this order and also the order of a candle to my brother so I want to get both of those orders out today as well when I go to mom's house I want to make some wax melts and maybe while we're working on those I'm going to make some labels to go on top of the jars so these will have circle labels they'll probably be similar to something like this so this is the size of the circle that's going to go on top of this 10 but it will be kind of a similar styling to this one i love how these turned out these are our hottie hot black smelt bars i just think they're so cute and i can do that on my ipad while i'm over there so i'm not too worried about that but i'm gonna update you guys as i head out and run the errands and head on over to mom's okay just got that returned um, basically i bought some things that i didn't end up needing to use from michael so I went ahead and returned those. Now I think I'm gonna run over to the post office and then grab some lunch and head on over to mom. Okay guys, it is the afternoon. Mom and I have just finished up up here in her studio. Here she is. You say hey hi. everybody. <laughs> she is the other owner. <laughs> this is our little studio at mom's space. So we've got all of our candles. These are like all tester candles that we've been doing. I just went through and we packaged an order and then we've got all of our little melters, tools, and then this is literally our whole like testing side. So we've had all sorts of fun little goodies over here that we've been making and we're about ready to ship out our first candle. All right. All right. <laughs> home from my mom's and she sent me back with these little concrete vessel candles we are deciding not to sell these in our shop these were kind of a test run so these are gonna go out to some family and friends we did get some little strawberry wax melts which I need to make a label for and then we'll list and then these are gonna be our Queen of Hearts wax melts I love those wow they smell so good as I'm opening them so I'm taking those home with me because they need labels made and then I can list them on our shop really good it's really not a good spot in this car for vlogging my mom and I have agreed we think that we're going to make move to start adding more things into our shop so I think I kind of told you guys I may have mentioned earlier in the vlog I'm not 100% sure so since we're just starting this business up and we're still like building it out and really deciding like what we want this to be and where we want it to go and all of those things. Okay, I paused for a second so I can update you guys, but we basically have decided to start branching out our shop. We knew that we wanted to start it with candles and wax melts, but we always knew that we were going to want to kind of turn it more into like a boutique style where we have clothes and accessories, jewelry, like other things as well, just more of like a full boutique. Think very Girl Tribe. If you know what Girl Tribe is, that is definitely kind of the vibes that we're going for and kind kind of that sort of build of a company. We're gonna start moving towards that and building towards that and having more items in our shop. So we have decided to start working on getting t-shirts and sweatshirts available in the shop. Now I used to have a t-shirt business so I have all the experience on that kind of stuff and I'm ready to like make them. So we're gonna start working on that this week and of course I'll be showing you guys the behind the scenes of all of that too. But I'm so excited that we're gonna be starting to offer more items and we'll hopefully be starting to kind of source for new wholesale items that we can offer and just all sorts of fun stuff so I'm gonna stop here I'll pick up whenever I get back home okay I just got home we have a ton of packages the life of a small business owner I have this big old pile so let's unbox some packages Jesus it's so hot today let's try not sure I dress oh Sense. I forgot that I got so many of these. Let's go through them. Cafe Mocha. 
not my favorite scent, but I feel like that could be someone else's favorite scent. <laughs> this one is chocolate mint. I'm honestly not even gonna smell all of them because I'm just going to keep them in the box. And let's see what this one is. Azalea, oh, I can already smell that and it does smell really good. This one is clean and fresh. And then we have Oh, it's bamboo. A bamboo scent. Ooh, I can smell that already too. Literally, these ones are so strong, but like I can smell them before even taking them out of their wrapping. I'm gonna just keep them in their little boxes and transport them to my mom's. <laughs> Next, so I'll show you guys. They all come in like these little boxes, so I literally have like a ton of them now. But those are all scents. Ooh, cute. So this is the jar. This is the candle jar. I really like that. I think my mom's gonna like that one too. What the heck is this? I've never seen this type of box from Amazon. I'm not strong enough for this. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you joking me? Are you joking me? This was in, that was so unnecessary. That's part of our packaging size. Okay. Now we've got our jars down here. So we already have a candle on our shop in this vessel. They're so pretty. Is that not like literally the coolest, cutest vessels you've ever seen? Oh, I love them. These are all gonna go over my mom's tomorrow because we're gonna make some candles. Instead, not as exciting, but still cute. It's kind of like, this but not iridescent it's just in like a matte colored version we are going to have kind of like a line of candles let me show you we're going to have different candle jars on our website we already have this one with one label um all of these candles that will be on our website are going to come in our signature scent so you can change the scent of them but they're gonna have really cute labels on them. I wish I had my other example here to show you guys, um, but we had to send out an order today. So kind of clear iridescent ones. We're gonna have these matte kind of frosted ones. I love these, so we might also do some in those later on, I don't know. And then we basically got something to replace these. It's gonna look pretty similar, I think, maybe a little less hot pink and a little bit more light pink probably closer to like this color i don't know but those should come in tomorrow so we'll see how those go but these are going to go over to my mom's tomorrow and we're going to put some candles in them um and do some burn tests on them and all that kind of good stuff to see how that's going to go i definitely already have the labels for some of these ready to go that i designed on my ipad over here i designed them earlier today so the labels are pretty much ready to go we just need to do our samples again in them and just make sure that they burn properly and that is everything in our packages so i'm going to put these back in their box i've got so much trash everywhere now that needs to be cleaned okay my next task i need to mail out these two wavy um, candlestick holders so now that they have had all day to dry the sealer is perfectly dry on them they are ready to send out so i've got my box i'm gonna put my phone up so i can record this for content purposes i'm gonna prop you guys somewhere over here in the corner how's about right here and you guys will get to see me packaging the order maybe we'll put you over here so we've got a little more light This package is now ready to go. I do need to put some tape on it, obviously. Then it's ready to go on to its new home. So yay for orders. This was a big bag of the filler stuff. I'm not 100% sure if I like this, but for now, I think that's what we're gonna do because that's just kind of what makes sense. And I use bubble wrap. We got pink bubble wrap for now. So I'm gonna put this stuff back on the shelf and clean up. Um, this box I'm gonna take to the post office in the morning, I think, because I need to go and get 
some packaging tape anyways. Alrighty guys, it is about dinner time and I think I'm going to log off this vlog for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed following along just on our little studio vlog day in the life. If you guys like these videos, make sure you subscribe for more because that's what we're gonna be sharing here on this channel, a lot of the behind the scenes of our business here at Cotswold & Co. So if you guys will really enjoy that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give it a big thumbs up. Right here on the screen for you guys, I'm gonna link another video I think you'll find helpful as well as an entire playlist full of other studio vlogs so you guys can go and check out more. Without further ado, guys, that brings us to the end. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.